Capricorn, hey, what's going on? How are you? My name is Antoine. I want to welcome you or welcome you back to the House of Luminance. We're here to go over your love reading for the middle 10 days of November of 2022 for all placements of Capricorn, including the Capricorn lover, if you're here today. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the energies for Capricorn in love and romance. If you like the video, please hit the like button, subscribe, and Comment down below how everything is going, all right? Energies for Capricorn. Okay, let's get one more shuffle for Capricorn. All right. let go all right so then under the deck what do we have here passion oh we and i know it's hard to let go because it's just it's so good right capricorn i know it's so good i know it is <laughs> oh my god y'all i'm a trip but no but for real i i laugh about it but it's a real thing like the feeling that i have is real here Sometimes it's very important for us to know that good, you know, good, happy. How, how soon am I into this video that I can say that word? Good, adult, happy, fun time is all good and all, but not at the detriment. You know what I'm saying? Like there's something in you that's knowing that it's time to go ahead and release or to let go of either a particular person that you're dealing with or maybe it's vice versa and somebody could be feeling that about you capricorn and i just i just got to keep it real when i say that so um i know that it's good i know it's two minutes in now i know i know that the sex is good i know that the physical time is amazing But we also have this energy of letting go here because we do have this shadow. So it's just like, I don't know, it's like it almost feels like does this person come only like at a certain time? Like it's like they're almost like a shadow of a person. It's like they only come in and give you this one good thing. And then, you know, it's all good when they're there. But then when they're not there, you know. Yeah, we have golden moments. Okay, I see. Yeah, you're kind of endeared to this person because this may be somebody that you have already had a lot a lot of past with. You know what I'm saying? And you guys could be in separation at this moment, but it could still be where it's like it's just a physical thing. Or this is where this is not it's it's just it's just you just have a lot of passion for each other, period. So like even if you're around each other, there's still like a lot of passion and tension with y'all. Because it's like y'all have this thing and then now it's like y'all are in separation and either you or both of you haven't fully let go of this individual yet because you still may be holding on to uh, particular moments in the past that have always already transpired or you know, you may be doing things in the present physically with this person that doesn't really allow you to let go of those feelings. And I feel like two things can be true. It feels like, you know, hell, the sex was so good in the past, even if you are in separation, right? Like I've been, like I've been explaining, like the sex was so good in the past that like it just, it doesn't allow you to really fully let go of this person like you should or release this person like you should. But it doesn't have to be about sex. It could just be about good times. Period. I think I feel like we need an explanation here with the tarot. I feel like that's going to help us discover a little bit more about maybe why there was a separation in the first place. If the sex was so good or if there was so many good times. 
Now, this passion energy is kind of a double-edged sword. I'm being told by spirit because the passion is like, yeah, it can mean just that. But it can also mean like anger and, you know, passion, anger is, is wrapped up in that passion umbrella as well. So maybe somebody could have been a little too passionate, you know, despite their best qualities. <laughs> so let's go ahead and see what's going on with the town. Okay. The hangman. Death. Five of Pentacles. The world, or the wheel, excuse me. And then under the deck, the Three of Cups. Oh. Mm. Feels like you've feels like you've tried to back away from this person before. You've tried to put them like at an arm's distance before. Maybe it's like an over and over thing with the wheel. It's like it's something that you keep trying to do with this person. But there's still something that you always circle back to between the wheel and the death. There's like something that you're not allowing to die off. There's feelings that you're not allowing to die off. You're still caught up in it. Okay. But you're miserable. Which was the whole reason why. <laughs> which was the whole reason for the separation in the first place. Because there was some misery here. There was, I feel with the Five of Pentacles, maybe a feeling of like abandonment or a feeling of, you know, not having certain needs met in any regard. Okay. Um, and so there's this feeling of, even in the midst of the separation, feelings cannot let go. You can't let go of particular feelings. Because you're still caught up, it's still, it may be still fresh for some of you, but you could just be like caught up still in the emotions of it all. Like you want to let go of this person, but you don't want to let go of certain things about this person. So it's like you still keep, are still trying to keep them close. Let's continue to get some more information about this. Yeah, we have the Six of Cups. Oh, okay. I mean, I'm seeing puppy dog eyes, right? So it's like they give you that look, and the next thing you know, y'all back at it again, you know? Um, it's so crazy. Two of Pentacles. And then now you're again, now you're like, okay, how am I back here? I feel like it's like, okay, it happens. And then you get back with this person or you take this person back or you give this person your time or you give this person your body or whatever it is that you give to this person. And then you're stuck looking like with the two of pentacles or the five of pentacles, like was what I did worth it? Like, how do I feel about myself? You know what I'm saying? Um... The devil, yes, yes. Okay, so there's a, this is a very toxic energy, but I also feel like it's a very karmic energy, okay? So it is almost like you're bound to this person, and I'm also seeing it's like kind of spiritual as well. So understand Capricorn, this person, I, honestly, this person could be doing rituals or, you know, doing something in the spirit realm that will keep y'all bound to one another. The Queen of Wands. Look at you right there, Queen of Wands. Okay. And then under the deck is the Empress. Capricorn, honestly, let me tell you something. I feel like 
I see somebody trying to get I'm, I'm just gonna be I'm just gonna be really direct with what I see here because it's it's vivid to me. I feel like Capricorn, there's if you're female, there's gonna be somebody that's trying to purposely get you pregnant so that they automatically have a tie to you, have a tether to you. You understand? Listen, that's just what I feel off rip. That's like the strongest message coming through right now with those new energies pulled out. And this is still somebody that you've been with before. Okay. Um, I I just also feel like it's 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 a situation where for some of you this person could be trying to like purposely knock you up to uh, keep you tethered to them, um, to keep you hung up or strung up on them, um, and it doesn't necessarily have to be a kid either. But I do definitely feel like it's like they are trying to integrate themselves in a certain type of way, Capricorn, with you. Because um, they know that that is what's going. That's what that's what's going to keep the wheel spinning in their favor. They don't want to give you up. They don't want to be let go of. You know, every time you start to get up in yourself and feel like, oh well, yeah, I need, I can, I, I need to let go of this person. Da da da. You know. And then the devil energy that is Capricorn energy as well. So you could be dealing with another Capricorn. Could be dealing with the Taurus, I feel, or Scorpio. So, um, yeah. Ooh, this is thick. This is heavy. This is thick and heavy. <laughs> um, but let me know what's going on in the comment box below, Capricorn, okay? Um, with the Queen of Wands, though, here being in the outcome, let me tell you something. Um, as it relates to the two of pentacles from here to this diagonal here, I feel like it's like you were questioning your actions or questioning your values or questioning why you did something kind of weighing up your balance, weighing and balancing up your actions versus like, you know, up against like your morals. That's what I feel here. And by the time you get to this queen of wands energy, the queen of wands is very confident. This queen of wands knows how to succeed. This queen of wands has succeeded. Okay. And so I definitely feel like there is like a self-esteem boost that you get uh, toward the end of this reading, which I do like. And it could be that you're finally spinning out of this cycle of what you've been in. Just make sure, though, listen, though, when I say this, that some of you, yes, you do make it out. You do successfully let go of the individual. However, there still may be a tether that was created, if you understand what I'm saying. So, whew, it was a lot. That was a lot. But you know, you know how it be. Um, let me know what's going on in the comment box below. Thank you so much for your time. I do truly appreciate it. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Take care.